Gamil, uh, how early on in the marriage should a couple start talking about the financial portfolio? Ay, agad agad pa? Talagang dapat, soonest as possible. Kung ba pwede nga, di ba when you're daydreaming as a couple pa lang without, you know, before getting married, maganda to talk about it already. Kasi that's where you align. Uh, align your dreams together, how you're gonna do things together. Kasi teamwork yan eh. So, that's where you talk about it. It has to be done regularly and soonest as possible. Kasi otherwise, it would be, uh, you don't want to get into the problem that you're fighting over money. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Talaga, gusto mo magkasama kayo. You want to be continuously exciting for you as a couple. So, parang you reach dreams together as a team. Mm-hmm. So, you know, can I add something, Miss Len, Miss Camille? Go ahead. Because you, you, were just, you just brought this up. No? Um, in our culture, kasi, especially in the Filipino culture, speaking about finances and, and, and all these things, it's sometimes... I don't, I don't want to, I don't know what word to use, but sometimes it's kind of taboo. It's like, yes. oh my God, you know, money, bakit, money, money, money. But in the end of the day, this is a reality that's, that every individual has to be educated about. Because, uh, you know, we, we may, we may have a lot today, but nothing tomorrow, you know? So, you know, uh, yeah, and so I, I really believe and I really encourage, you know, especially young couples or if you guys really, if you guys are not married yet and you guys really feel that like ito na yun, you know, start, start investing in, 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 in properly putting that mindset for, you know, being financially educated so that when you get married, you're already steps ahead of the game and, you know, you're still growing. Do I make sense? Yes, very good point. Yeah, because, you know, because, uh, you know, you know, typical... Uh, I don't want to judge or anything, but you know, that's a typical mindset, no? Uh, you know, let's not talk about that because it's like you know, not, but it's very important if you guys are financially matured and financially, uh, I know, you can you can speak about these things and, and have a head start from the, from the, with the game. That's really actually very true in our culture. Yung thought na tabu talaga yung usapan ng pera kasi parang uh, feeling natin it shouldn't be discussed. It's too personal. And actually, one of the reasons why a lot of people, you know, feel uncomfortable approaching a financial advisor when in fact an advisor can be a very big help to them in their financial journey, di ba? And also, one point is that Swerte si Mateo because he has very good role models in his parents. Not everybody has that, eh, ba? So, Mateo, could you tell us a bit about that? How was it like, you know, your parents are both financially secure with their own businesses and investments. Ano yung mga tips na binigay nila sa'yo about, you know, uh, being a couple that's pursuing a financial journey? Well, um, I guess uh, my parents have been always supportive, no? I mean, uh, in a, in a, everything has not been perfect, you know, Shep, uh, uh, life has been a roller coaster also, you know, I've seen the, seen the lows and the ups, etc. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, like what we said in, in, during, during our run through Kanina, which I thought was rolling already, <laughs> if I could bring back time, I'd really take mm-hmm. the accounting class really seriously. <laughs> I really have so much respect respect to my accountant and mm-hmm. you know it's these guys talaga nga, it's very, like again in the end of the day it's very very important to be financially educated uh, mm-hmm. because uh, you know when you when you take home 10,000 pesos sometimes people think oh I have 10,000 pesos but you know there's a percentage there that goes to taxes there's a percentage mm-hmm. go that goes to what kind of agent or whatever you know mm-hmm. so you may have to be uh, aware of how mm-hmm. much how you're spending and how you're investing. Totoo yan, no? Parang kahit sana yung basics man lang, matutunan natin, di ba? Kasi parang it's important that we can do the basic stuff on our own. For the more complicated things, there's, you know, the accountant, there's the advisor, pero it also helps na palimbawa, kayong mag-asawa, you're gonna sit down, kahit pa paano you already know how to handle it. So maybe you and your wife, naman tayo, like I was t- telling you a while ago, baka you can go ahead and take those accountancy lessons na you and yeah, your wife. <laughs> I'm actually very interested nga eh, because it's, it's very important to know eh. You know, it's very important to know. Uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for the accountants out there. So, hi accountants. <laughs> <laughs> and alam mo, isa pang nagpapa, uh, 
talaga nagiging more complicated yung financial journey of a newlywed when they also have to provide for their parents while they are providing for their children or for their spouse. So, Camille, on that note, uh, can can you share with us paano ba make sure ng newlyweds that they can provide for the needs of both the parents and the children or the spouse? Yun. Talaga, kasi culture talaga natin, eh. parang feeling nga natin na, di ba, we always owe it to our parents, di ba, how they took care of us, they sacrificed for us, di ba? So, y- talagang, yun naman yung maganda din sa ating culture, no? But you have to, that's definitely something that you have to take into consideration uh-huh. when you're newlywed. So, number one, kasi, eh, syempre, hindi naman lahat talaga are, you know, well off yung, yung parents and they can provide for themselves. Later on, they will be dependent on you. So, uh-huh. definitely, as a, uh, as a newlywed, it's important number I probably give three advices for that one. No? Number one, discuss it and agree with your spouse. Because it mm-hmm. has to be, really as I said Mateo kanina, eh, and trust eh, is very important that you establish that from the start. So, discuss and agree. Because, of course, for both parties, then, maganda yung you set aside for, you know, for your parents. Because, you know, what if they become too dependent on you eventually? What do you do? The second th- thing that you have to do, the second advice this time, is to set aside money also for them. Mm-hmm. Diba, you set aside for yourself. You set kahit pa lang ako, kahit pa paano din, diba? Part of your budget for your parents. So, uh, if you can nga, eh, you get an insurance for them also. Uh-huh. Uh, just to relieve the stress, the financial stress later on. What if they do get sick, diba? Kasi they run to you after, eh. Um... They may have probably missed out to uh, to get one for themselves from the start. Maybe they did not get to hear like what the, the, our viewers are also hearing today, oh. no? But um, it's nice to you know uh, to think about you know cover them also so that it also relieves relieves our stress financially. Third oh. advice I would say is learn from what they missed. So if they weren't able to get one for themselves um, in terms of insurance or maybe be financially okay, diba? And become, soon become dependent on you. Learn from their mistakes, diba? So they probably are too busy, focused on you, raising you up, no? And make sure that you prepare for your future also because um, these things, when you try to learn from their mistakes, is that um, basically you know the challenges, the, the difficulties that you went through right now. And you don't like your children to have the same difficulty later on. So, don't make the same mistake. That's a third, ano, um, just, uh, just, ano, um, correct it this time in your, in, in your, uh, you as a spouse and discuss it. Yeah. Alam mo, parang you were talking about that, you know, about how it needs to be discussed with, by the husband and wife, how you're going to support the parents. Unfortunately, nagiging issue din to for some couples, eh, diba? So, gusto nating iwasan yan. So, for Mateo, um, how do you discuss yung, uh, money with your wife without getting into arguments because money is a very sensitive issue for some couples how do you guys discuss it and paano kayo nagko-compromise or how do you come to an agreement you know it's a very nice question because uh you know i think i think everybody and every couple will go through this route no <laughs> now in the beginning it's going to be kind of awkward um it's going to be kind of not normal uh, but I think you cannot force it in the beginning. You cannot force it. Obviously, if I can, if I had a choice, I'll force it. I'd be like black and white. This is like this. This is like that. That's like that. But in reality, uh, you cannot force it. No, you have to let uh, you have to let both parties. Uh, it has to sink in slowly, and maybe we realize we realize it through the journey of life. But it's very very important. Um, uh, like with what Miss Camille said, no, uh, set aside some for your parents, set aside for some emergency funds, and and tala can have that really nice kind of investment portfolio, no. But again, at the end of the day, especially for beginning, beginning cup, beginner couples like us, no, you know, isa palang, I think we really have to make it understood that for today, our priority is my wife mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know I'm very very grateful and I'm very very thankful that my parents I think know that that uh, my priority is my wife uh, mm-hmm. you know umbaga. but of course it doesn't mean I will never take care of my parents if my parents needed mm-hmm. something I'll never you know of course yeah, yeah. need something you know 
I'll always be there. Um, uh-huh. But again, my priority is my wife. So did, did that make sense? Yeah, I, I actually could. Uh, I get that point, and I think it's a diba, parang, There's this saying that you cannot pour from an empty cup. So, like, if you and your wife are not financially secure, it will be so much harder for you to provide also for your parents, eh, diba, for other needs that the family might have. So, uh, like to Camille's point earlier, you have to secure yourselves first. I don't like. I don't. I don't talk about life jacket, diba? You Secure yeah. yourself first. Bago ka tumulong sa ibang tao. Otherwise, you will all just sink. Diba? Yeah. And, 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 and so, then I think what Ms. Camilo also said, trust is very important. You know, if you lend somebody, if you give somebody 1,000 pesos, you must tell your wife, love, you know, I'm giving 1,000 pesos. Hindi yung parang she'll find out, uy, saan yung 1,000 pesos? Ba't nawala? Uh, 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 uh. So, you know, you really have to be transparent in both sides. Correct. Uh, walang mga secret accounts. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Some couples do that. Okay. Where they can trust. <laughs> Oo! Oh, oh, may pang safety. Tapos parang, ay, tuloy, when you find out about it, parang lagi ka na magdududa. Bakit na may secret account? Kano karami ang secret account nito? So, yan. Transparency is important, newlyweds. Okay. Now, talking about, you know, beefing up your financial portfolio, uh, the newlywed starter pack is a great starting point. So, Camille, could you tell us more about this? Well, uh, well, then, kasi diba, sa dami ng pinag-usapan natin, overwhelming eh. Yung sinabi oh. din kanina, diba, ni Mateo, mamaya, natakot na or anything. It's something exciting, but it, you just have to put it together. And that's mm-hmm. the nice thing about the newlywed starter pack, is it, it puts together all of those things eh. Diba, yung sinabi ko kanina na financial considerations, which are milestones that you mm-hmm. want to reach as a family, as a family. Second, also, is the budget and the what. Yeah, so it covers all of that, no? So, the nice thing about the newlywed starter pack is that um, from the start, you get to have uh, uh, you get to have a financially secured future because you have a life insurance coverage that could be as much as 2.4 million. And if in case somebody gets it, figures it an accident or gets critically ill, yun yung mga what ifs natin, di ba? Yes. At least you don't have to worry about the money because you have 1.2 million already. Naka-ready na yan, no? Anytime. And if in case you get um you know uh you cannot work because of you got into an accident it's temporary and permanently disabled you don't have to worry about paying your premiums anymore for your policy because it's fully paid immediately no so parang mm. you, you know you don't have to worry about the ne- how, how do i pay that yung dibang bills lang tuloy magiging problem mo but it's yeah there and another thing also remember we talked about emergencies diba mm-hmm. um yun nga yung emergencies the nice thing about the plan is that it sets aside cash values and dividends just in case that you need it for emergencies. I'm clearing oh. emergencies. Hindi yung emergencies na natuwa ka there kasi may sale or something. Then <laughs> you automatically buy. Don't do that. It's for emergency. Just in case walang, wala na. So, you have that. And of course, since I mentioned about milestones, it also has, it sets aside funds also for specific target dates. So, oh. that's the nice thing about the package. no? So, um, you have, meron ka na kagad mapapagawa there's a money that you can expect on specific dates and all of that you're just basically setting aside 5,000 pesos per month yun lang yun oh. and that's saving already on a regular basis so you're starting at 5,000 pesos at least meron ka ng clear uh, amount in your head diba kasi some people tend to uh, parang get nervous about getting insurance or investing kasi parang they feel like it's super expensive not knowing that there are actually products that can suit their budget so that's a starting goal for you guys 5,000 pesos and in fact you can actually further customize this starter pack right Camille? That's correct yes so ayan so okay now if they want to know more of, of course the financial advisor the Sun Life advisor would be there to, to assist, okay? So, I would like to go to Madeo and ask, uh, how does an advisor, you know, figure in your in your life? Kasi, di ba, like, for your, for your sports, you have a coach who will guide you and train you for your other needs. For example, you have a movie, you have a director. How does this the financial advisor naman, you know, uh, able to help you with your goals? 
I, I think it's very important, especially what's happened now no, with, with the whole world and the pandemic. Um, what's very nice about Sun Life is that uh, your financial advisor or that financial advisor has all, will always be uh, accessible and open to you. No? Uh, even though we went on lockdown, you know, uh, you, you, you still had a direct contact to them. And uh, it's very, again, it's also very important to be open to them on what your goals, what your dreams are, so on, on, what, on what packages you can open. And, and what's very nice with us, we, you know, we offer these packages at a very, very low cost, minimum, minimum cost of 5,000 pesos. So that's what's exciting about it. So my advice to everybody out there, don't be intimidated. Start off. The sooner you start, the better. If you could have started yesterday, better. And if not, tomorrow. But um, the sooner, the better. And then uh, five, ten years from now, you'll be, you'll realize, wait, I have this pala. No, I'm ready for for my kids' college, or I'm ready for this, or if somebody gets into an emergency, oh yeah, I have this to, you know, to to fund uh, the hospital or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's so true. So, if, uh, we were talking about, you know, financial lessons or financial advice being a taboo. Imagine, if you open yourself up to this conversation, how much it will benefit your life, diba? So, sayang naman kung magpapat Takot, ka lang parate. So go ahead and talk to the Sun Life Advisor. Now before I go back to our questions, I would like to remind everybody first that we will be starting with our question and answer portion in just a bit. So for those who would like to share their own experiences, you know, if you're a newlywed, um, if you're a provider of the family, if you're a breadwinner, um, go ahead and share your experiences or ask questions because you know one way that we can all learn is if we ask questions get some insights from Mateo and Camille this is you know an opportunity for you to leverage what these uh, people can share with you and apply it to your own life all right now Camille we're talking about advisors can you share with us ano ba yung mga may expect nila if they contact an advisor ito ba yung tipong pag umupo sila pressure na sila or kailangan pa pumili na sila or may bayad pa to consult no it's actually free to get in touch kay it's free to ask questions the financial advice and life financial advisor so basically you just have to, they're, they're, they can assess you financially based on your needs based on your budget based also on where you would like to go so uh, yeah they will just have to ask the question no obligations uh, whenever you're ready also pero yung sinasabi nga ni Mateo I would suggest really do it the earliest as possible because you're missing out also on some opportunities na sayang na doon correct kasi di ba when you talk about insurance and investments time is your friend eh. like the earlier you start the better the, the, the longer your money is invested the bigger it grows di ba the potential for it to grow yan so start now don't be afraid to consult with an advisor. Okay, now, uh, closing this discussion before we go on to the Q&A portion by asking Mateo, Mateo, do you have a newlywed hack that you could share to all those who like you are, you know, in this exciting stage of their lives? A newlywed hack? Mm-hmm. Not necessarily financial. What have you, you know, learned so far, insights you've gathered so far in your marriage? Uh, gardening. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You uh, didn't expect. <laughs> I actually have a pet cherry outside. I have like this, uh, I'm so proud. Sarah, uh, my wife uh, planted it and it's growing now. So I'm, I, can't wait, I can't wait to harvest and actually eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I may relate that to finances, you're pu you're you're putting it. You know, you're you're planting your seeds now, and you're just waiting for that to grow. Right? Right? You know, right? harvest, right? It's it's oh not everything in life. Everything in life, like planting a seed and, and and later harvesting it. You know, waiting for it, holding, 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 and then you know, getting the fruits. it's just like investing. It's the same the same principle, right? You invest. Uh, the sooner you invest, kumbaga, the money will grow. Uh, so the sooner you start, the better. You know, gardening. 
<laughs> oh my god. I definitely did not expect that from you know our athlete and adventure adrenaline junkie. So I like that ambassador. Nandito na din pala pero very good point from the two of you. You know, uh, gardening kasi when you when you grow plants, you have to be very patient with it, 'di ba? Before diba? you can see so you have to take care of it, nurture it, water, sunlight and all that. But at the end of it, ikaw yung nagbe-benefit, di ba? Yeah, yeah, di ba? And sometimes if your seeds are not planted properly, kumbaga the investments will not be good. Diba? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, to plant the seeds, you have to nurture the seeds. So, with sun life, that's the best, kumbaga. <laughs> And also, of course, when you talk about gardening, you also seek, you know, tips from those who are into this uh, hobby, di ba? So yes. you also need to seek expert advice. Kasi if you're just gonna go about it on your own and you don't really know anything about planting, wale! Yes. <laughs> Malalanta ang iyong mga ano at wala kang maka-harvest. Gusto ko yun na hindi ko in-expect tong twist ng ating ano ha. Ah, Plot- Ako hindi ko na-expect yun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, newlyweds, pay attention. Gardening, that could be a very good exercise for you in terms of, you know, delayed gratification and uh, the concept of time in your, your, in your financial journey. Okay. Saying hi to Laika. Hi, Laika. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm unable to access the, the Facebook page right now, so I cannot see those... Uh, who are saying hi to us but thank you so much everybody for for tuning in we're now getting into the question and answer portion so uh <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna be accommodating those questions that you uh, left in our comment section i think we can uh start with that right now also saying hi to Lisel. tuned in all the way from jakarta indonesia thank you so much for watching all right Okay, who else? Uh, okay, let me see here. Very cute answer, Mateo said, Darlene Grace and Mina Aurelio. Hashtag, Plantito Campos. <laughs> oh, ayan ha. Grabe na ito. Ayos <laughs> ba? Gardening. Meron yeah. pang isang comment dito, oh. Tapos, pwede mo pang ibenta yung mga plants. Like, if you come to that point where you are very... Yeah. Uh, then, actually, on, on, a, on, a, on a different note, no? Mm-hmm. We were... For, uh, kubaga, we went up uh, shopping for plants. Mm-hmm. And, and like a baby plant would cost you maybe, for example, uh, 1,000 pesos. Mm-hmm. And a medium plant would cost you 8,000 pesos. And the big mm-hmm. plant, the, the same version of the small one, would cost mm-hmm. you 20,000 pesos. So, you know, if you want to be eager and want the, if you want to be eager and, and get the big plant right away, okay, you can buy us 20,000. But you can mm-hmm. get the 1,000 and wait for six months to make it 20,000. So, life is about gardening. <laughs> I love it so much, Mateo. Oh my God, you're driving me crazy right now. This is so perfect. No, but that's right? You know, I, I really like that. There's this plant we purchased and um, uh-huh. it's a spiral thing, right? And then, uh-huh. get the name. And then the lady goes, I'm like, how much is this big plant? She goes, uh, she goes, uh, 30,000 pesos. We go, huh? 30,000? Oh, so there was a baby plant there. So we go, magkana ba to? 3,000, sir. Uh-huh. Oh, maghintay na lang ako ng dalawang buwan, maging 30,000 na yan. <laughs> Good choice. Grabe na ito. So much insight, no, Camille? <laughs> Talagang update. Pagkaan bang new norm na new norm. Mag-implant dito. Yes. Sabi ni Ted Asanyo, green thumb daw si Mateo even when it comes to finances. Actually, well, guys, I'd like to invite everybody. My gardening shop will open by three months from now. So please visit my Instagram for details. Wow. I'm See joking. Now. But <laughs> actually, you know what, Mateo? I wouldn't even be surprised if that actually comes through in the next few months. <laughs> being a business-minded person, I can imagine this is something you might pursue and consider in the future. Okay, so let's go to some of the questions right now. Uh, Mateo, your parents raised you to be a financially savvy person. How will you make sure that your future kids will grow up to be the same? Oh, I love that. Wow. Um, uh, I guess, like, my little brother right now, he's not little anymore, he's 12 years old, but, you know, we try to uh, give him examples, you know, have, 
have him save his own money, have him buy um, things for his own. Like, mahilig siya sa sapatos, no? Uh-huh. So, eh, bro, if you really want that shoes, kubaga, you have to sell something and earn money from it so you can buy you can buy the shoes. So he's been painting, and then one of my titas bought his paintings, and then, you know, uh, kubaga, he saved a portion of that, and a portion of that he bought a pair of shoes. So, you know, it's, it's very important to start young and to understand um, how money works, how, how, how it grows, and how you earn it. Mm-hmm. That's great. Alam mo, uh, Camille, on that note, ano ba yung mga very easy ways that you can teach a child to appreciate, you know, handling finances, understand its purpose and its importance? Well, basically, it starts with a couple also. Eh. What they see is actually what they also follow. Yun yun, eh, oh. diba? So, you see taping on a regular basis. We also you know, they also learn that as well. Um, and the nice thing and the best thing that you can do also proud is to involve them with finances. Oh. You know, how do you, di ba, involve them? Kasi hindi yung pwedeng, ano lang eh, basta yung bigay lang or anything, di ba? They have to understand what the couple, uh, kasi family kayo eh. So yeah. you're all in it together, yung yung sinasabi, di ba? So, you have to involve your kids also. And then the third probably is that, you know, along the way, let them help, help them and teach them also how to handle their own money also, diba? So if you, let's say, for example, you give them 100 pesos, they will know there's a budget to that, diba? So how do I budget that? Do I keep that? Or, or how, if I have a dream or something, how do I reach it also? Then you can work on it, you can discuss it as a family also. Para later on, talagang masanay na rin siya. That's so nice. Like, like I, have a, I have a nice kwento, Miss Camille. Pasensya na, I'm just excited. Oh, okay. But, uh, oh. <laughs> a few days ago, my dad sent me a picture of a of a box like a pelican case. You know what those those camera boxes? Oh, okay. pelican yeah. box, it really hooks. So my gardener found a pelican bo- a box, a small box, okay. in my garden, buried. Okay, and then Papa Papa was like, "Where where did this come from?" And he opened it, and inside were like coins, like super damning coins. And wow. Big- of Mama, Papa, me, and Georgia, and my sister, and Paolo, my brother. And later on, my brother said, Kuya Mats, I saw that in a movie. I wanted uh-huh. to save my money. So he placed it in a box and he buried it. Oh my God! So it was so crazy. It was so crazy. And, you know, lesson learned. Uh, lesson to that story. And we told him, bro, look, I forgot how many, how much pesos, how much coins he has. For example, for example, he had like 1,000 pesos there. I said, bro, your 1,000 pesos is still 1,000 pesos, bro. If you bought something that would appreciate or if you placed that somewhere else, you know, or something, that could have been, you know, one five or 2,000 pesos today. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, kuya match. Where, how, how do I invest? How do I do this? So, you know. You know, things like that. Parang, yun lang, next head lang. Yun lang, yun lang. Oh, my God. As a family, they learn from each other also, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially shoes today. Uh, these kids, the kids today like buying shoes. Uh-huh. And if they're not, these shoes appreciate that. Uh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah. These shoes appreciate. And, and Pokemon cards. Back when I was, uh, I mean, we're just going off topic now, but... Back, back when I was high school or elementary, we used to collect Pokemon cards. Uh-huh. And, you know, we threw it all away after a while. But today, if we still held on those Pokemon cards we were collecting back then, uh-huh. look in America, there's a big big market for Pokemon yeah. cards. Yeah, oh, because like it's a vintage item right now, or the the shoes become collect become uh, collectors items, de ba? Yeah, and but they're very mahal, ah. They're super mm-hmm. expensive. They go to like a hundred thousand pesos, two, three, five hundred thousand pesos for Pokemon cards. It cost fifty pesos. Oh before. my gosh! Yeah. See, well, there's there's, there's, there's <laughs> <laughs> well, there is still a lesson there. You know, you just really have to have an eye for what will appreciate in time. Not all of us have that capacity. And so for those of us na hindi ganun ka ano yung, uh, yung taste or yung ano for trends, investing is the way to go. Invest in mutual funds. Kasi and hindi natin... Secure talaga. Secure talaga. Yes. And you have, you actually have professionals. You know, we have experts managing your money. Kaya sigurado ka. You know, not everybody has the time and the knowledge to go about uh, investing in, in stuff. So, we have experts that can help you. Okay, there's a question here, Mateo, that goes, um, 
Mateo, is there a money lesson that you were able to teach your wife that she is applying now? Money lesson? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we should be talking about this, but I guess uh, taxes. Oh. <laughs> you know, taxes, you know, there's, there's so many things you can learn about that. And, um, uh, you know, again, when you when you earn 10,000 pesos, it's not 10,000 pesos that goes back. Uh -huh. You know, you, you should have taxes to pay, etc., etc. Uh -huh. I guess that's one. Uh, two is, you know, uh, budgeting. Budgeting is very important, no? Um, yeah, uh, now that uh, you, you live in a house, uh, you have to budget for groceries. Um, uh, when something breaks down in the house, yeah. you know, when you have to buy clothes or shoes for, for our business, for our job. So all these things have to be budgeted. You can't just go splurge, splurge, splurge and be like, oh my gosh, I need to pay this, but I don't have it. So uh, you, know, you have to really budget. And the best way to budget for me is to keep track of everything. Uh, you can write it down on a notebook or whatever. Or, you know, I use it, I, I write it on an Excel file. So. If my wife asks me what did how what how much did we spend last six months ago when we went to grocery, uh -huh. we can pull it up and say, hey, did we spend this? So you know, <gasps> keep track of things. Okay, another revelation about Mateo right now. Excel file is yeah. the way to go. <laughs> Again, Camille, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, expect. Because they might usually when you think of the of the celebrities, they have somebody else handling the expenses for them. Grabe. Ikaw, Camille, uh, for, for you ba, how do you keep track of your expenses? It is all, is it also Excel file, like Mateo? The funny thing, naku, makakala tayo tayo dito. Hindi po wala pang Excel doon tayo. Hindi sila tulad ko pa sa notebook. <laughs> Kaya whenever I look back, ay, ito pala yung ginagasos ko dati. Pero it helps, ha, to have that. Oh, oh. I agree with Mateo on that one. Kasi your tendency is to, book, to, to be too conscious na sinusulat mo na parang, ala, I spent pala too much on this one. When you try to review, nako, hindi naman yung maganda nun. Pero uh -oh. mapag-uusapan niya naman na, um, what should I try to cut down, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kung bago, when you talk about budgeting, nakaset when you get, when you get an income, nakas, alam mo na yung automatic, automatic expenses mo. Mm -hmm. Then you can make adjustments along the way. Agree naman ako kay Mateo dyan. I think we're doing that. <laughs> you know what? Another point, Miss Len, Miss Camille, for me, parang it's nice to uh, sometimes kasi uh, you have to live within your means, etc. No? But sometimes para sometimes it's nice to reward yourself or something. But it motivates you to work harder. You mm -hmm. know, it motivates and uh, next month I have a quote, I want to earn this much. Or mm -hmm. yeah, I want para kumaga, you're hungry always to know to find ways on how where to invest, how to invest, how to earn, etc. So it's important to be hungry always, kumaga. I super agree with that, Camille, no? Kasi I, I think it's also important that we reward ourselves. It's not about yung parang, hindi mo na-enjoy yung financial journey mo kapag ka hindi mo nire-reward yung sarili mo every now and then, eh. Di ba? Uh, Kaya, yun yung kailangan mo ng motivation, eh. Yun yung kailangan mo din. Talagang ano rin. Yeah, I agree. Super agree with that one. Motivation, ayan. My previous ones. <laughs> My gardening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ay, na naaliw naman ako sa question na to, Mateo, for you. How do you celebrate your month sari? O, di ba? Hindi anniversary. Month sari. Nakaka-high school naman tong term na ito. But, okay, Mateo, is that something that you uh, you commemorate with your wife? Like, oh, it's the, kunyari, 15th of the month. That's your special day. Let's have a nice dinner together. Which means the twentieth of the month, and it's yeah, it it, it is our monthsary. Mm -hmm. Got married Feb twentieth. Do you do you like uh for example March twenty, April twenty? Is it something that you consistently you know celebrate? Not really, but I think I should. I think we should do every monthsary. We should deposit a certain amount of money for investment. <laughs> 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 I was expecting an answer na something like we'll sit down and have a nice dinner together and all that or buy something for the house but no investment pa rin. I uh, love it every month sir we should add 5,000 pesos to our our ano, our package no? what do you think? what do you think? meron kayong commitment together di ba? di ba? A very good habit to start, though, because like you were, you guys were talking about earlier, it's all about starting a habit earlier on in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Grabe. 
Iba klase itong si Mateo, napakasimple nung mga tinatanong dito kung saan-saan tayo napupunta. <laughs> But I love it. Super insightful. Okay, we have a question here naman for Camille. It says, uh, for Camille, I'm 19 years old but it's always been my dream to have my own family. So, what financial advice can you give me? Okay, 19 years old but already eager to start preparing for the family. Nako. Um, well, kasi wala naman talaga sa age yet, di ba? Pero it's really more about the maturity. How soon are you ready, no? So, I yes. just want to definitely say. Um, well, first thing, you have to be secured as a, as a single person first, no? At kailangan you have to build that yourself as well. Na talagang, you know, you learn how to save. You come up with dreams. If if that's one of your dreams to get married soon, you might want to... You, ako, ako, ito ma sa suggest ko siguro to make it a little bit more fun, no? Maybe the things that you would like to... You might want to write down on the list. Pwede oh. Excel file mo rin katulad nung kay Mateo. The things that you would like to... It's probably the top 10 um, that you would like to achieve oh. before you reach the age of 30 or 25. You can come up with something like that, di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos you put the cost each one, then you save also, di ba? Yun yung, yung, yun yung i-reach mo as a goal also. Ngayon, um... Uh, definitely saving should be part of the of the plan every time. Oh. Yun yung importante, importante doon. So, maybe if you, I, I would also suggest another thing also. Get an insurance for yourself while you're, while you're still young because it's cheaper when you get an insurance yes. for yourself yeah. when you're still younger. Kasi when you're older, you realize, nako, mahal na, tapos mas marami ka ng obligations. So, take advantage of whatever you can while you're still young, definitely. Oo nga. Oh my God. I, like I was saying a while ago, I got uh, financial instruments for myself uh, at a later age na. And oh my God, parang if only I knew about all these when I was younger. Sayang talaga. Okay. So ayan na. Uh, good, uh, good tips from Camila and Mateo, you guys. Uh, we have another question here for Mateo. In terms of budgeting, how are you handling it? Who decides on certain areas like groceries, daily needs? Maybe even the bigger purchases. How do you guys decide on that? Or what tips can you give on that? Uh, Unang-una, uh, for groceries and essentials for the house, I mean, uh, we go to a very efficient place where we can get very with things efficiently. We only go to Landers. Mm-hmm. So Landers is the best. <laughs> no. no, but on a serious note, um, You know, it's, a, it's a very important for not just the husband or for, you know, both both parties to be very, very, uh, you know, to, to, to be educated in, in, in this aspect. No, it's not just your wife or not just the husband. It's very important for both of you. Baga. So when we go groceries, we always tell each other, okay, love, let's just get konti lang ngayon. But when we meet in the counter, it's like super full. <laughs> so... so It, come, it boils down to uh, organizing stuff in the pantry, listing, having like a note what we have, what we don't have. And, uh-huh. you know, kung budgeting in the end of the day, no? it's very important because uh, sometimes we, have, we used to have like parang overstock of, uh-huh. of milk, let's say milk, no? Uh-huh. Uh, so it's very important to just uh, to, to note everything, what you have, what you don't have, and go when, when you really need things. Uh-huh. Ayan. Taking note of what you already have in the house. Kasi tama naman nga, baka nadudoble na pala. Pero, can I just say, ah, na- nakikilig ako every time sinasabi ni Mateo kung paano niya inada. So, love, what do we need? So, kahit nai-imagine. Whatever they need, whatever our wives need, kumbaga, uh-huh. we give to them, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> okay, husbands, take note. Kami ang husband, also take note. We'll just say note. sorry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just say sorry. Sorry. It's sorry, it's very powerful. Sorry, it's my fault. Okay. Even if it's their fault. No, I'm sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mateo, dahil pareho kayong kumikita ng wife mo, 50-50 ba ang sharing niyo sa gastos? Does it necessarily have to be that way? 50-50? Uh, it really depends on what you guys, how you guys, and what you guys decide on. Uh, but I believe in how I was raised. Uh, when, for me, uh, I, I have my friends and whatever that do it differently. But uh, with me, when, I, when when you marry somebody, I believe it's synergizing with that person and talagang yeah. becoming better. So 
what what's mine is hers. So if I earn a hundred pesos tomorrow, uh, that's ours. You know, and if if we spend, um, it's all shared. It's all shared. I like that point about synergizing. That's that's mine, huh? that's mine. But I yeah. have that talagang, uh, I, I have friends or whatever that what they earn is what they earn, what she earns at dinner, and then they put like maybe thirty percent on the table together, and oh. it really depends on on your usapan. Yeah, I agree with that. Kaya just for you know, just to get a different POV on that one, Camille, can you share with us when you were a newlywed? What was it like for you and your husband? Paano yung naging budgeting process niyo? I uh, agree ako kay Mateo eh. You really have to agree as a couple eh. Diba? Kasi pwedeng hindi pantay yung ano, na, na what income you're getting. Sometimes you can agree on who will just do the groceries, who will pay for the bills, uh, and who will also pay for the, um, what they call this, uh, yung properties or whatsoever that you bought. Diba? You have to agree as a couple kung paano yung hati. Kung gusto nyo yung hati kayo na 50-50, then at least you agree on something. Yan ang importante. You cannot impose. Katulad na sinasabi ni Mateo kanina eh. Yung, 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 there are things that you just say, pero eventually, just, you know, saying said eventually, paano magiging agreement ninyo. So, yun. Um, you will have to agree on what share are you ag- both in agreement with, di ba? So, hindi pa pwede impose ka lang impose. Otherwise, magiging better na lang yung kasama mo. So, you don't want that to happen. Ay! Ay you want it talagang fun. <laughs> it will be super sad naman like if you were in so in love at the beginning of the marriage and then you just fight over money, di ba? So, oh, oh, oh. just no, talk no, yeah. about it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, another question here is, uh, for Mateo, ano pa ang mga gusto mong ma- achieve sa buhay. Wow! I want to have an airplane. <laughs> Are you gonna jump out of it again? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, ano ba? Uh, ano ba? Uh, marami, marami, uh, Miss Len. Marami ako mga, marami kaming mga, mga goals, no? Mga dreams uh, na gusto namin ma-accomplish in, in the near future, in the further future. But there's a lot. There's a lot. Um, but we're, we've been very, very blessed these days. And, um, you know, we're really taking... That's why being financially educated is very important because, you know, yeah, we, nobody's blessed mm-hmm. every day. Or, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, may ganito, sometimes. So you really have to be uh, responsible in how you invest, where you put, and how you save, and how you spend, etc. So... Getting back to your going back to your question, we have a, we have a lot of dreams, we have a lot of goals, we we have we have yeah too many to count. Oh. <laughs> Actually, kasi di ba, no? Parang that's the beauty of being a newlywed. You have the whole future ahead of you and you can really dream a lot of dreams together, di ba? Yeah, it's such a beautiful, Miss Lena, sorry to add this, but it's such a beautiful uh, reality na you wake up in the morning and you say, love, wow, we're married. You know, we have our whole lifetime together. We have so- <laughs> I'm just the new I'm, I'm just newly married but I don't know I Shepre, I need to learn from you guys because I don't know how many years you guys been married but uh, one year almost one year but you know to just realize the fact that you know we have a home together uh-huh. we bought this glass together um, you know we, we you know we we bought a table together I mean, we, uh-huh. You know, it's just it's just something really tiny, but for me it means a lot that talagang we're a swan, we're a family, we're growing and we have a lifetime of dreams and goals together. So it's just uh, a nice reality to realize. Grabe na ito, nakakabagets naman tong mga pagdi-describe mo. <laughs> Camille, ikaw ba? Parang naaalala mo yung mga earlier days mo sa Dulo. When with the way Mateo oh, is speaking no. right Kaya now. Kaya nga pag ano, you look back, Mateo, on that one later on, talagang pagtapa, matutuwa ka pa rin. I'm sure when you try to reminisce to that, just keep on going on that one. <laughs> Miss Camille, you don't agree on me on this one anymore? <laughs> ano yun? Yun? Do you still agree? On, do you still agree? Yes, 
<laughs> Alam mo, parang na-imagine ko, the way you were talking about it k- kanina, Camille, no? Parang siguro si Mateo, like in the future, love, remember, dati? Ang saya-saya natin dun sa baso na binili natin together. Uy, <laughs> pinag-uusapan din namin yung mga ganyan. Di ba ito yung dati natin binili? Yung mga ganyan. Kaya so funny, kaya ang sexy, agree ako talaga sa'yo. No, it's so nice, it's so nice to, ano, to realize na boyfriend, girlfriend pa kayo, you know, uh, sometimes, nung boyfriend, girlfriend pa kayo, I don't know, in my situation, I'm sure everybody has a different situation, but kami, ang hirap-hirap magkita, ang hirap-hirap magkita, ang hirap-hirap magkita. Uh-huh. Okay. Pero ngayon, na mag-asawa na kami, talagang, You know, we we're sitting down at the same dining table. We're sitting down watching TV together. But wow, this is this is God's gift to us. This is we're so blessed. You know, we have a whole lifetime together, and and let's just be smart and let's you know let's let's uh, be thankful every single day. And uh, you know, I'm just uh, yeah. Anyways, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, tama talaga ang pinasagin. Gusto pag-usapan. Kaya ba? <laughs> Parang kami, gusto nating makipag-date bigla pagkatapos oh, nito. Oh. At i-remix yung ating mga... Sa restaurant ni, ano, ni Mateo. I know. Try the truffle oh, pasta. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> They are fully operational, by the way. So for those who'd like to drop by Mateo's restaurant at Westgate, ayan, it's... Yeah, okay. Westgate, alam ba? And uh, if you guys want to come, it's there. And we have one in Cebu also. See you guys, ma Cebuano is watching right now. Yeah. Ayan, and they practice safety protocols. Okay, so na iba na usapan <laughs> bigla. Okay, uh, we have a question here for Camille. So, uh, may I know the package for education, health insurance, as well as investments? Education, health, and investments. Well, actually, um, it's also of course you have a lot of. Uh, we can discuss that also with your financial advisor with Sun Life. Um, we will be glad definitely to put together a plan if it's for education. I could also put that together with health coverage as well para ma-maximize. Kasi syempre, parang di ba tayo, mahilig tayo sa sulit. So, oh, so oh, sulitin mo na, di ba? <laughs> maximize what you, what you um, put in so that you can get the most out of what you paid for also. What you're keeping, what you're saving up for. Oo, kasi alam nyo guys, you will actually be surprised at how many of your needs can actually be answered by insurance and investments. Kasi a lot of us think na mapapakinabangan lang yan uh, after death, for example. For one, that's not a bad thing. That's a very good thing to secure for your family. Then whatever happens to you, they will be okay. But yun nga, uh, if you have uh, something that you want to achieve, like maybe put up your own business, travel with your new husband or wife, and also the education of your kids, you'll be surprised that we have all these range of products that you can actually use to get closer to those goals. Diba? Okay. Uh, another question here naman for Mateo. <laughs> Ang aliw ng question na to. <laughs> Kinakabahan ako kung saan na naman ito pwedeng mapunta. But okay, let's ask it. <laughs> Mateo, are you galante or kuripot? How do you know when to be one or the other? Kung baga, kailan mo ina-adjust? Who's asking? A boy or a girl? Nako, uh, we don't have the name here. Yung ano, sana pala we have the names, no? Pero we don't have the names, so I'm not so sure. How? So your question is, uh, when do you know when to be galante? Mm-hmm. Are you galante or koripot? And paano kung ina-adjust yun, maybe according to the situation? Mm, basta kung gusto ng asawa nyo, hindi eh, ko hindi ko pa ang asawa nyo. Ang sabi daw dyan, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> diba? diba? Kahit, uh, kahit alanganin na, kahit uh, sasabihin mo, ay, parang kulang to. It's your motivation to work harder for next month. <laughs> Doon pa na nang gagaling, kaya naman pala tayo ng kayo itong si Mateo. Ayan. <laughs> Okay, so para daw pagka sa wife, ayan, na, alam niyo na guys, galante kapag ka kay wife, I guess kuripot medyo pagka sa sarili ng needs, medyo to na ina-adjust. <laughs> Kasi nga uh, priority ang wife, eh. Okay, diba? Pagka yung mga halimbawa, yung, uh, di ba, husband and wife, eh, hindi ko alam, pero iba-ibang tao, iba yung shampoo nyo. Kung baga, uh-huh. di ba, yung babae, yeah. pang babae, pang lalaki. Eh di, kung para sa lalaki, pag babae ka na, gagamitin mo na yung shampoo nila para budget pa. Diba? Oh my... Diba? These examples, Mateo. Kung halimbawa ma, for example, your, 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 your hobby is motorbikes, etc. Ganito, buy a muffler. But your, your wife is gardening. 
Eh di mag-gardening ka na lang, di ba? <laughs> yun pala yung story yan, ha? Yun pala yung puro. <laughs> Kaya lang kailangan na siya sa gardening. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Ay, kasi to be fair naman, si Mateo was able to really enjoy those things, di ba? When you were still a bachelor, talaga, you were able to enjoy motorcycling, racing, competing in triathlons, di ba? Kaya... Kaya when he got into the married life, I guess it was easier for him to let some of the things, some things go. Kasi ayan, kaya for those words, you know, it's not, it, yeah, pero hindi naman let go, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm very lucky, I'm very blessed, my wife's very supportive, you know, I'm, she's very supportive. She's, hindi, hindi siya yung tipo na, no, I don't want you to do that, no, I don't want yeah. you to do this, you know. She just says, love, can you just not do that? And then, on my team. <laughs> But, I mean, How do you say no to that naman, di ba, Kabil? Nalalambing eh, nakakatawa. I have one kwento, I have one kwento. So she hates it when I jump out of planes, no? So, so there's just one time I was already, I was already with my parachute on, I was about to go, and uh-huh. said, love, please, you know how you're stressing us all, you're stressing your mom, you're stressing me, etc., etc. I said, okay, okay, okay. And then I did not reply for two hours. I replied after two hours when I landed, na, love, I landed. Oh my god! <laughs> She got even more pissed at me. So I mean, <laughs> but at least they jumped, diba? So it's important to fly again. It's important to jump. Well, <laughs> this, uh, you know, marriage is practically jumping into the unknown as well. So, a, a metaphor for the newlywed life. Ayan. Pero, oh my God, I can imagine the catastrophes that you must have caused them. <laughs> okay. So, we are having such an awesome discussion. Thank you so much, Camille and Madeo, for everything that you've shared. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. But within that uh, hour or so, our viewers were able to get so much from you guys. Thank you so much for answering all the, uh, the questions that were shared by our viewers tonight. Okay, so... Uh, once again, thank you, Mateo and Camille, for your time tonight. I, I thank, you, thank you, Thank you, Ms. Camille. Remember, guys, the life lesson is, is. gardening. <laughs> When you think of gardening, you think of Mateo and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> she is for Gidicelli, the Gidicelli couple, and she is also for gardening, okay? Yes. Make sure to visit our new gardening shop very soon. Coming, soon. coming, coming very soon, Ayan, okay.